What's up guys? My name's Krog. We're coming to you here from the beautiful Macau Suite. And today we're going to be talking about five quick tips to get more wins on spin and goes in PokerStars VR. Just a little background guys, I've played literally thousands of spin and goes. I actually won the 10k spinner and the tips we're going over today are going to be very helpful. Before we start guys, if you like PokerStars VR, definitely subscribe and check out my channel. I got tons of PokerStars VR content that I'm sure you'll love. Without further ado, let's get to the tips. Tip number one guys, take every game seriously. Now if you've played spinning goes before, you know most of the time you play, the spinning prize is going to be double the buy. -in. What I've noticed is a lot of times when you get that base level prize, is people get frustrated and they don't take the game seriously. It should go without saying that we would all like the best possible prize, you know that 100x buy in, but unfortunately guys, like I said most of the time, you're going to get the base amount. With that being said, it is very important you take the game seriously. You try your hardest, you play properly, and that's really all you can do. The key to being successful in any poker game is consistency. Winning hands consistently, winning games consistently, that's what builds your bankroll, and that's what will help you climb the leaderboards in Spin and Go. So the next time you're playing Spin and Go and you get that default base prize, don't worry about it, don't stress out, just play the game normally and do your best to win. Tip number two, guys, kind of goes right along with tip number one, and that's avoid the all-in spam. Now, like I was just saying, a lot of people get upset and frustrated when they see that base level prize pop up and spin and goes. One of the most common things you'll see is people just going all in on the first hand. Unless your first hand happens to be really good, like a pocket pair or aces and faces, you're going to want to avoid going all in. If you get stuck with a player who just keeps going all in every hand, the best thing you can do is just fold until you get a good hand yourself. If you wait to get a good hand to call against those kind of people, most of the time, you will win. It is worth noting that if you make a habit of going all in every single time, that is considered bingoing and leaderboard manipulation, and you can and will get banned for it. Tip number three, guys, don't talk during the game. I know PokerStars VR is a very social game, and as much fun as it can be to chat, you're going to want to avoid doing that during the game. As the game is starting up, if you want to tell the other people at the table, hey, good luck, or something like that, that's perfectly acceptable. But the reason you don't want to talk during a game, because whether you realize it or not, what you're saying is giving clues to the other players. Even if you're using words or talking about something that isn't related to poker, your tone of voice, the way you're speaking, can give other players clues about how you're going to play and what kind of hands that you might have. So as a good rule of thumb, guys, during spin and goes, while the game's playing, if you care more about winning than socializing, just don't talk. Tip number four, guys, is pay attention to your opponents. So like I said in the last tip, you're going to want to avoid talking when possible. And if you play against people who don't follow this advice, you're in a good position. You can learn a lot about a person's play style or what hand they might have just by how they're talking. Obviously, on top of listening to what they're saying or not saying, pay attention to how they play. Are they constantly raising preflop? Do they always raise on the river? You gotta look for patterns. This will give you clues to how they play and what hands they might have. One of the best skills you can develop in poker is being able to read your opponents. The people who master that skill are the people who are always at the top. If you look at anyone who plays at the uncapped tables or the ultra high roller tournaments, these are people who are very good at reading their opponents. And finally, guys, our last tip is know when to take a break. Now, I know it could be tempting to spend hours upon hours of grinding the spin and go leaderboards, but you have to realize after a while, you might get off your game, you might get a little frazzled, so that's why it's important to know when to take a break. Even if it's only a quick 15 minute break, take your headset off, grab a drink, step outside, touch some grass. It's really going to benefit you to find the time to take a break. I can understand if you're on a hot streak and you want to keep playing, by all means, keep at it. If you find yourself getting frustrated or just play not having fun, go ahead and take a break, however long you need, and then come back to the game. That does it for my five quick spin and go tips, guys. If you found this helpful, let me know down in the comments. If you really liked the video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And until next time, guys, I'll see you at the tables.